At headquarters, Captain Global and Lisa Hayes are on their way to meet with the Earth Council. Will it take long to reach the Council Chambers? Just a little longer. The shaft goes down another six miles. By the way, that reminds me. Have you heard anything about the Great Cannon? No, what is it? It is a huge Robotech weapon that's been under construction here for a long time now. It uses the Earth's gravitational field as its main energy source. In fact, the shaft we're traveling in at this moment is the barrel of the weapon. What? You mean we could be blown out of here if someone were to attack the headquarters? <laughs> well, I'd like to think they would clear it first. Haven't you ever been here before today? Well, my father used to bring me down here, but I was never allowed to come down the main shaft. Now I understand why. Yes, this Robotech project was top secret. Only a few officers were allowed down here, and absolutely no outsiders, not even an admiral's daughter. <laughs> but why'd they let father? Who else was there? He was the visionary. He pushed for the creation of this complex when no one else thought it was necessary. My father was responsible for all this? I didn't know that. Your father has always been very decisive. When we were serving together, a problem came up once about inadequate rations for the men. When he couldn't get any action from headquarters, he ordered our entire division to raid the food supplies of the commanding general. <laughs> My father got away with that? Really, it's true. <laughs> I can hardly believe it. <laughs> the general thought spies had infiltrated the regiment. He kept sending down orders for us to find them. It's good to hear you laugh again, Commander. I think this is the first time I've heard you laugh since you escaped from the enemy. Huh? Um... But I wonder if we'll feel much like laughing after this meeting with the Governing Council. It's crucial they be made to understand the aliens are only interested in the Battle Fortress and its secrets, not in our world. I hope you've thoroughly prepared your arguments, Commander Hayes. I'm ready to go, Captain. Hmm, that's good. I'm sure we'll be able to convince them. After all, we're the only ones who've had close contact with the aliens. Attention! Smoking in this capsule is forbidden. Uh, Please put out your tobacco immediately. Can't I smoke anywhere anymore if it's <laughs> not my bridge officers warning me it's these machines? <clears throat> Captain, are you worried about the ship? Is something going to happen to us? Why do you ask? When something's bothering you, I notice you always pull out your pipe and start to light it. Hmm. I must confess I'm very worried about this meeting. I'm not sure these men will listen to us with open minds, and it's vital to our future that they do so. What will happen if we can't convince them? The Earth will go to war against the aliens. And so the capsule continues to descend, bringing the captain and Lisa closer to their moment of truth.